Magandang umaga po mga kapatid. Tayo po ay magsisimula na ng ating Sunday School Service. Inaanyayaan ko po ang lahat na tayo po ay tumayo at awitin po natin ang Faith is the Victory. Tayo natin yung, ano, yung lyrics. On the first verse, ready, sing. And camped along the hills of light, ye Christian soldiers rise. And press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies. Against the foe in veils below, let all our strength be hurled. Faith is the victory we know that overcomes the world. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Second verse now. His banner over us is love, our sword, the word of God. We tread the road, the saints above, with shouts of triumph trod. By faith they, like a whirlwind's breath, swept on our every field. The faith by which they conquer death is still our shining shield. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Louder now on the third verse. Ready? Sing. In every hand the foe we find, drawn up in dread array. Let tens of these be left behind, and onward to the frame. Salvation's helmet on each head, with truth all girt about. The earth shall tremble neath our tread And echo with our shout Faith is the victory Faith is the victory Oh, glorious victory That overcomes the world Last verse now To him that overcomes the foe, white raiment shall begin. The angels he shall know, his name confessed in hand. And onward from the hills of light, our hearts with love aflame. Will vanquish all the host of night. In Jesus' conquering name, amen. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory. That overcomes the world. Are you victorious this morning? Yeah. Amen. Before we proceed, I would like to ask Brother Marvin uh, to open us in prayer, please. Nagpapasalamat sa araw pong ito sa pagkataon na pinagkalumpot sa amin upang sama-sama kaming sumamba at magpasalamat sa iyo, Ama. sa patuloy niyo pong pag-iingat sa amin sa buong uh, linggong nagdaan. Uh, labis ang aming katuwaan na makapiling ka namin sa mga sandaling ito, kasama ng mga kapatiran, uh, pati yung mga nasa daan, Panginoon. Uh, patuloy niyo pong uh, pangunahan ang iyong tagapagsalita uh, upang ang iyong salita ay maging kapakinaman sa uh, uh, bawat isa sa amin. 
Uh, tiyanda niyo po ang aming puso sa aming pong uh, 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 pakinig na pong salita maging sa aming pong uh, uh, paganda sa Santa Sena sa gabing ito. At patawad po sa aming mga kasalanan at uh, salamat po muli sa uh, mga kapatiran na makapiling namin sa mga sandaling ito. Patuloy niyo pong pagpalain ang aming pong darating na Uh, Lord Saper, maging ang aming pong uh, uh, church anniversary sa susunod na linggo. At ganit din po ang aming bayan, patuloy niyo pong uh, pagpalain, protektahan niyo po kami sa mga mananakop, at pangunahan niyo po ang aming pong mga leaders na maging uh, wise sa kalang mga desisyon at maging pagpapala sa mga proyekto na Uh, ginagawa sa mga sandaling ito. We also pray for the peace in Jerusalem and salvation of Israel, O Lord. Uh, for the moment, for the coming of the Lord, draw with night. Prepare our hearts, O Lord, yes. as we are longing to see you, O Lord, and be with you always, forever and ever. We bless you and thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, our Savior, uh, our God and Savior. Amen. Amen, Lord. You know, pl- uh, may, may now please be seated. Again, tayo po ay umawit. Pawitin po natin para sa Panginoon ang uh, higher ground. Ready to sing on the first verse now. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. A higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Second verse now. My heart has no desire to stay. Where doubts arise and fears dismay, though some may dwell where these abound, my prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Third verse now. I want to live above the world, though Satan's darts at me are hurled. For faith has caught the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Last verse now. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a glimpse of glory bright. But still I'll pray till heaven I've found. Lord, lead me on to higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Amen. Anda po natin ang ating mga puso. Uh, bigay ka na po kayo. Brother Abed ang Sunday school. Hello. Maganda umaga po. Good morning to everyone. Good morning mga kapatiran. Sa uh, umaga pong ito, tutuloy natin yung sinimula nating lesson. Last Sunday, uh, anong lesson number po tayo? Pero rin, hindi nyo nakikita. <laughs> lesson number three, measuring our faith. No? Uh, There is a pronoun na binabanggit dito, possessive pronoun, our. So it means dapat uh, this study is reflective. 
Ibig sabihin na as we go along in our discussion, we look at our own self, we look at our own faith. At uh, tanungin natin ang ating sarili, how is my faith uh, going? Uh, faith in the Lord. So, uh, muli po isang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Atin pong buklatin na ating Biblia. Sisimulan po natin ang ating pag-aaral sa pagbasa ng isang passage dito sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5 where we find here uh, the main uh, reference or the text uh, of our lesson. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 10. Tayo po ay magsitayo. Basahin po natin uli ito ng sagutan. Ano? Simulan ko sa verse 1. Babasahin niyo po yung, bawat talata, ay yung kasunod na tala, ng bawat talatang babasahin ko. Are you there? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. Okay. Verse 1, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. If so be that be included, we shall not be found naked. Now he that hath wrought us for the self same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. po ay sa mandaling manalangin. Ang manaming Diyos na kataas-taasan sa lahat, muli po ang uh, iyong mga anak dito sa Calvary Baptist Church ay nagtitipon upang ikaw ay aming uh, papurihan, luwalhatiin sa aming mga uh, gagawin sa araw na ito. Nawa Panginoon sa likuran ng mga gawain ito ay ang aming devotion sa iyo Panginoon at ang aming communion with uh, the Holy Spirit with the Father and with the Son Lord, uh, we pray that you will work in our hearts and in our minds, Lord, and reveal unto us uh, your will for each one of us as individual Christians and to all of us as a collective body of the Lord Jesus Christ. May our lives give uh, glory and honor unto thee, Lord, and pleasure. And uh, please correct us, Lord, in, in things that we do not do right, and even in the uh, unrighteous thoughts uh, and uh, desires that we have. May we learn to submit everything to you, Lord, and uh, listen to your uh, decision and uh, obey your decision, Lord, so that uh, our lives uh, will uh, truly reflect, Lord, the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. May our desire uh, as we continue living here on earth just be to glorify thy name through the exercise of our faith, exercise of our hope, and exercise of our love toward you and toward others. Uh, we uh, are thankful, Lord, for this privilege of being uh, in this place to be part of this uh, congregational service, congregational worship service, Lord. And uh, may you listen to our prayers, Lord, and may you talk to us, Lord, and uh, give us... Uh, your will and uh, teach us your way. In Jesus' most precious name, these things we pray. Amen. Please take your seat po. Sa binasa natin kanina, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 1 to verse 10, there are uh, important uh, terms or words. No, Of course, uh, this passage 
na sinulat ni Apostle Paul contains one of the greatest uh, uh, desires or faith of Christians that our faith is not only for this life only, but for the life beyond this life. At sinasabi nga ni Apostle Paul dito that uh, we are looking forward to this day when we shall leave this mortal body. This mortal body will be uh, replaced with immortal one and that we will be going to the place where the Lord has prepared for us. Sabi sa John chapter 14, 1 to 6. But then, one part of this that struck me is na, na dadaanan naman natin pero I was reminded do sa sinabi sa verse 5, Now he that hath wrought us for the self self-same thing is God who also has given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. We have the Spirit living in our in our hearts, residing in our hearts. And yun ang isang uh, focus ng pag-aaral natin dito sa uh, lesson number three. So, uh, while we are here on earth, uh, we are expected by the Lord to live in accordance with His will and with His way. And that is reflected in the growth of our spiritual maturity. When we grow spiritually, then naturally, we continue and we increase the pleasure of the Lord toward us. Uh, and uh, as we continue enjoying this pleasure of the Lord, we uh, joyfully and uh, seriously and convincingly uh, obey His will and this way. Okay? So, sabi nga po sa ating uh, main text sa lesson natin, Therefore, we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Ibig lang sabihin po nito na while we are here living on this earth, no, uh, we should walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, so ito po, uh, na talakay natin ng nakaraang linggo, no? uh, yung isang... Uh, very important question ni Dr. Schaefer na sinabi niya na kung lahat ng references sa Bible, references to faith, no? and including uh, those verses that have something to do with God's uh, releasing God's power through supernatural means, ano kaya uh, yung matitira doon sa Biblia at yun lang mababasa natin, ano kaya yung klaseng pamumuhay mayroon ang mga mananampalataya ng Panginoon sa Kristo. Sinabi nga sa Biblia no, na all the things that were written in the, in the book of life or in this uh, scripture, the Holy Scriptures, ay for our learning, for our edification. Kaya kapag itong malaking bahaging ito ng Biblia, mga verses dito, ay tinanggal diyan, malaki ang kaibahan ng magiging epekto sa buhay ng isang mananampalataya. Nabanggit ko nung nakaraang uh, linggo yung kwento patungkol sa isang babae. Anong pangalan po nun kung natatandaan ninyo? Si? Jeannie. Ang spelling kasi ay J-E-A-N tapos N-I-E. So tama po yung pronunciation ko. Jeannie. Hindi Jenny kasi may eight, ano eh. So, okay. So, uh, siya ay isang American who went to Iran to serve the Lord there and he joined a church. At ginamit sila ng Panginoon para ang uh, ilang mga Iranians doon ay makakilala sa Panginoon sa so Kristo at sila ay dumadalo sa iglesia ng uh, Panginoon doon sa uh, local church doon. Uh, but uh, hindi napakadali na nagaganap ito because we know that Iran is, uh, consisted of uh, uh, Islamic uh, nationals. No? At uh, it, ang uh, Christianity ay uh, isang uh, kinukonsider na threat sa Islam. Kaya ang mga followers of Christ were persecuted. And so lalong-lalong tumindi ang persecution when uh, Ayatollah Ruhola Khomeini ruled in 19... 1996, no? Uh, so, makita natin na itong, uh, itong pagbalik uh, ng rule ng 
ng uh, Islamic leaders no at uh, bumalik ang bayang Iran sa Islamic State kaya uh, ang, ang kanilang uh, official uh, religion ay Islam so those who were espousing different faith experienced great persecution kasama nga itong si Jenny at uh, pati yung mga mananampalataya doon sa iglesia ng iyon at yung mga Iranians no sabi nga po uh, ang approach nila kapag ang isang Iranian ay naging Christian ang gagawin ng kanyang magulang ay ipapakausap siya sa isang assassin at i uh, urge siya ng assassin na ito na bumalik sa Islam pag hindi pa bumalik hindi sumunod itong Iranian na ito ay he will be beaten no siya ay sasaktan at pagkatapos doon hindi pa rin siya ano hindi pa rin siya bumalik doon sa fold ng Islam uh, bibigyan na ng permiso ng ng parent na assassin patayin na yung kanyang anak so you can just imagine yung uh, uh, danger sa life ng mga Christians doon despite this no ay tuloy-tuloy na lumalago ang gawain ng Panginoon doon at of course they were doing this no uh, uh, ng uh, patago dahil they cannot uh, expose themselves no uh, para uh, sila ay uh, madampot at madaling uh, ma mahuli ng mga uh, officials at uh, si Jenny ay kasama sa sa nakaranas nga na ang kanyang tahanan yung pintuan nila ay minarkahan na sinasabing there is uh, a Christian living in this place. So it's uh, equivalent to saying uh, your days are numbered, so if you want to live longer, you better leave this place, you better leave this country. Pero yun nga, ang nangyari, nagstay pa rin siya at uh, nagpatuloy sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Pero itong kanyang pastor na matu matapat sa paghatid ng mensahe na ating Panginoon, siya ang uh, isa sa mga kauna-unahang naging martyrs of faith doon sa igle sa iglesia ng iyon uh, siya despite the order of the government for him to stop preaching he continued preaching in the church and so one day nga siya ay pinasok nitong mga assassins and they took his life by beheading him so uh, ang mga kristiyano doon of course they mourned and yet they in in the strength of the lord they continued on uh, serving and uh, sharing the word of God. So they transferred from one place to another in order to evade yung paghuhuli sa kanila. Um, yun. At kasama nga rito, itong si Ginny ay nag-adapt siya ng dalawang twin, uh, twin, siyempre, no? <laughs> twin boys. Young twin boys, no? Bata pa eh. At ito ay uh, produkto ng isang, uh, pinanganak ng isang Iranian na hindi na, na ano na out, they they were born out of wedlock so and that is also punishable no by 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 death sa Islamic ano uh, religion so uh, kinukup niya ito inalagaan niya at uh, uh, hindi naman siya pinabayaan na ating Panginoon so he said uh, she said that day after day she saw miracle after miracle uh, happening in her life and in the lives of these two or these twin boys. No? So, mamaya, babalikan din natin. Itong dalawang bagay na ito, tanong ni Dr. Schaefer at saka itong testimony ni Ginny, uh, what impact that, does it create in our life? What, uh, what reflection no? uh, does it, uh, uh, what kind of reflection does it uh, create in us in looking at Kumusta na ba ang aking pananampalataya sa ating Panginoon? So, uh, yung uh, katulad din ng panalangin ni Apostle Paul na ang mga mananampalataya nung kanyang kapanahunan, particularly yung mga sinulatan niya, Kristiyano sa Thessalonica, sa Ephesus, sa Colossae, sa Corinth, no? at sa Rome, no? ay uh, he was uh, exhorting the Christians to continue growing in the faith. At sabi nga rito, so present-day Christians uh, who exemplify the kinds of faith that Paul talked about when he wrote to New Testament Christians and then commended them for their faith in the midst of intense persecution. We know that this uh, sister in the Lord, Dave Jenny, ay, uh, siya ay, uh, she earned, uh, she uh, uh, received 
or obtained this pleasure from the Lord because of the faith, the kind of faith that she has shown, no? uh, which was actually an exercise of the faith that she received from our Lord Jesus Christ. So, binabanggit natin sa lesson natin ito, faith is foundational because kabahagi siya ng trilogy ng faith, hope, and love. And it is always mentioned first, no? It, uh, uh, kapag binabanggit itong tatlong uh, 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 virtues na ito ng faith, hope, and love. At na, nakita na po natin itong mga verses na to in our previous lessons. And then pangatlo, faith is not just personal and individual but corporate. So there is such a thing as faith of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang ating nga pong tinatalakay ng mga puntos dito ay una, the dimensions of faith the measurable aspect of faith, and then the source of faith, and then lessons for us all, parang applications sa atin ng mga tinuturo ni Apostle Paul. So sa unang bahagi na tinalakay na rin natin last Sunday, there are three senses uh, that faith is uh, uh, discussed or mentioned in the, in the Bible. First is faith as a means of salvation. So ito ang... Uh, what the Apostle Paul belabored in, in many chapters of his uh, letters, particularly in the book or in the epistle to uh, the Romans. No? In the first four chapters, he developed a careful and logical argument to demonstrate that righteousness come by faith. Yun na labang po yung binabanggit ni Apostle Paul sa chapter 3, verse 28 ng Romans. Sabi niya, Therefore, we conclude that a man... Ano yun? Be, it, that the man is justified by faith ano po? outside or without the deeds of the law. So it's only uh, salvation by faith, no? uh, by grace through faith. No? Uh, in other version ng Bible, sa halip na by ang ginamit ay through faith. No? Uh, in other words, faith is the the medium by which God enables a person to come into the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, uh, kaya nga po, uh, dun sa kanyang discussion sa first four chapters, Apostle Paul concluded that in Romans chapter 5, verse 1 with these words, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ we have become acceptable before God or accepted by God because of that faith uh, uh, through the, our Lord Jesus Christ. And then another sense or another use of the word faith is faith as a body of truth, as a body of teachings. No, So the word faith is also used by New Testament writers to refer to a system of belief. Kaya, yung faith, the word, is not exclusive to Christians. All other people who espouse a system uh, of belief, yun ang faith nila. Okay? Even what, uh, what who we call as, uh, uh, who we call as, I forgot the term, uh, those who do not believe in God, atheists, they have faith. Kaya lang kakaiba, they have faith in themselves. No? So, faith is a, is a general term. What distinguishes our faith is yung subject ng ating faith. Our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Others have faith in, uh, in, other, in other beings, in other powers, in other persons aside from the Lord Jesus Christ. So, ibang klaseng faith yun sa atin. So, kaya binabang, in these instances, what people believe is called faith. In the Bible, the other term na ginamit dun sa faith is the way. The way, uh, this, because yung the way is refle- uh, the word that describes how this uh, group of people uh, including uh, Apostle Peter, how they lived their lives in accordance with the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, kaya nga po, uh, sa Acts chapter 6, verse 7, isang paggamit ng salitang faith. 
No? And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of priests were obedient to the faith. That word faith refers to that system of belief, and that is belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. The, the priests who were initially uh, were uh, persecutors of uh, the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. They became Christians and they espoused, they uh, uh, embraced the doctrines of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the faith being referred to here. And then the third sense is a growing Christian experience. Now, uh, we obtained saving faith. And therefore, what applies now, what should follow is the living faith. There should be a manifestation of growth in the faith that we proclaim and we claim to have received. No? It should be manifested in uh, our lives. So, when the New Testament writers use the word faith as a means of measuring maturity in Christ, they were referring to what happens in people's lives after they respond by faith to the faith, to that gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So in other words, that is referring to the living faith. And this kind of living faith is a verification of true conversion to Jesus Christ. At yan ay nagtutugma, sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, growing in the faith, Ito ay nagtutugma sa sinabi ni Santiago, ni James, na even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. So, uh, second point, yung the Thessalonian, this should be example, no? uh, uh, or also experience na rin ng mga Kristiyano sa Thessalonica. Faith that produces works among Christians is visible, discernible, and measurable. So ito, ang tunay na pananampalataya daw ay makikita mo. So visible, discernible. Ma, ma lalaman mo, madidistinguish mo siya. Ah, ito nga ang faith na to as compared, as distinguished from other kinds of faith. And then it is measurable. You know that it is increasing. You know that it is growing. You know that it is expanding. So there is what? there is a change. Kapag walang change, constant lang, how can we say that there is growth? Kapag kayo nagtanim ng butil, na binhi, di ba? Inilagay nyo sa, eh, binaon nyo sa lupa, each day pupunta mo, titingnan mo kung merong growth. Makikita mo kung merong growth sa pamamagitan ng pagbabago sa kanya. So makikita mo medyo may umuusbong, di ba? That's change. And that is a sign, a manifestation of growth. Tapos yung maliit na usbong na yon, the following day, lumaki, makita mo ay dahon na pala yon. And then the following day ay nadadagdagan. Habang tumataas siya, nadadagdagan yung dahon. Until such time, it has grown into a mature plant or a mature tree. Diba? At pagkatapos, kapag mature niya, mat- mature na ito, ito ay nag beber ng fruit. O kaya kung yan ay halaman, it bears what? Flowers. Nagkaano siya ng mga bulaklak. So, kaya yung faith ng mga Kristiyano sa Thessalonica ay visible. Paano nabanggit? Dahil binanggit ni Apostle Paul, your work of faith. Yung kanilang gawain ay refleksyon, ay kapahayagan ng kanilang pananampalataya. And then discernible and measurable, kasi sinabi ni Apostle Paul sa 2 Thessalonians 1.3, Your faith groweth exceedingly. Groweth is an action word. No? At tapos may description pa na may adverb pang exceedingly, how the growth, uh, the growth happens. Di ba? Mabilis or exceedingly. Ma, uh, malaki ang paglago, paglago, abounding. So, uh, Saan nahayag yung uh, naging visible at measurable yung aspeto ng paglago sa pananampalataya ng mga Kristiyan? Nabanggit natin yung tatlo, if you uh, still remember. Those who had been converted out of paganism and idolatry had not returned to their idolatrous and immoral lifestyles 
Ang lugar ng Thessalonica, ito ay nasa sakop ng rehiyon ng Macedonia at ang Macedonia, nasa sakop niya rin ang lugar ng Ephesus. So ang mga lugar na ito, magkakalapit sila. At kalapit na rehiyon ng Macedonia ay yung Achaia. Uh, so nabanggit, mas familiar siguro sa atin kasi yung Ephesus. No? Yung Ephesus na really ay an idolatrous city. Uh, dahil ang mga tao dito, ang kanilang pinananampalatayan, ang kanilang faith, ay na, na, ang object ng kanilang uh, faith ay mga false gods at kasama na rito si Diana. And there were priestesses, no? mga babaeng naglilingkod sa templo ni Diana and they were offering their bodies uh, uh, in the service of their false god, Diana. At uh, pati ang uh, mga uh, dahil sa pananampalatayang ito, paniniwalang ito, ang kanilang pamumuhay no? ay uh, described as licentious, immoral, no? dahil uh, ito ay hindi naayon sa uh, pamantayan ng salita ng ating Panginoon. So, yun ang klase ng pamumuhay nila. Pero nung sila ay iniligtas ng ating Panginoon, sila ay tumalikod dito. It was not really easy to do that when you are living in a community of people who espouse different faith. Paglabas mo pa lang ng bahay, mararamdaman mo na, eh paano kung nag-iisa kang Kristiyano sa loob ng tahanan ninyo? You will also experience persecution even from your own loved ones. Di ba? And then when you step out of your your house or residence, ay makita mo yung mga tao ay ikaw ay imamak din dahil sa iyong pamumuhay. Uh, uh, matapat na pamumuhay sa ating Panginoon. Yun ang naranasan nila. And yet, uh, ito ay uh, nangyari sa buhay nila by the grace of God. No? At kaya nga, sa magandang testimony nila, ang magandang testimony nila ay nahayag sa buong Macedonia at lumampas pa papunta doon sa neighboring country ng Achaia. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, hindi na namin kailangan pang ipagsabi sa iba dahil your testimony is already known by many and it even reached, no, your good testimony for the Lord I even reached the, the, regions of, the region of Achaia. And then, pangalawa, those believers are reflected their growing faith by continuing to serve Jesus Christ in spite of persecution. So, hindi lang uh, nila uh, basta tinanggap ang ating Panginoon bilang kanilang Diyos at tagapagligtas, but they continued uh, being a follower, a, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, in, the, in, in the midst of persecution. And then the third is, uh, the Thessalonians also reflected their growing faith with their generous and unselfish attitudes toward their material possessions. Yung material possessions nila ay nagamit para maluwalhati ang ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pagtulong sa kapwa, lalong-lalo na sa kapwa mananampalataya, hindi lamang sa lugar nila sa Thessalonica, but even in the regions beyond, beyond Thessalonica, beyond Macedonia. At ang isa nga sana na kinabang sa kanilang generosity na to, ang mga mananampalataya sa Jerusalem who were also uh, being persecuted at that time. No? So, material possessions. Ang sabi nga eh, for where your treasure is, ano po yun? There, your heart will be also. Asan ba? Ano ba ang, uh, ang tinuturing nating treasure sa ating buhay na ito. What are our greatest and precious treasure? No? So, uh, itong mga material possessions, ito ay temporal lamang. At ito pinagkakaloob ng Panginoon sa atin as a means para siya ay maluwalhati. Sa isang maayos na paggamit natin ng mga resources na ito at sa kapagbabahagi natin sa ating mga kapwa, tao, lalo na to those who belong to the household of faith. Okay? So, and then we go now to the third point, the source of faith. So, this kind of faith is not something we create out of thin air on our own. Hindi ito nagmula sa atin. Ang faith na ito ay hindi natin minanufacture. Hindi tayo nagproduce on our own. Uh, it is not rooted in some kind of positive thinking. 
Ah, siguro madalas binabanggit, think positive. Di ba? Saan yung madalas naririnig itong think positive? Sa? Sa? Sa mga coach? Sa, saan pa? Sa mga learning institutions, di ba? Mostly itong mga schools ang nag advance nitong positive thinking which is founded on humanistic principles that rather than depend on others, rather than depend on God, you depend on yourself. Diba? Ikaw. Ikaw ang makalulutas ng problema mo. Ikaw ang makakapagpalaya sa sarili mo sa hindi magandang sitwasyon na kinalalagyan mo. You are the God of your own self. No? Kaya, itong positive thinking, minsan nagagamit din natin. Think positive, brother. Think positive, sister. Ang magandang narinig ko ay, ay di ba madalas dinasabi, kung mag-alala, kapatid, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. No? Pero ang magandang sa, huwag kang mag-alala, kapatid, kaya ng Panginoon yan. Di ba? That's a better encouragement and that is more biblical. Kaya pag sinabing kaya ng Panginoon yan, parang sinasabi, you go to the Lord. You go to the Lord, uh, unload everything to the Lord dahil kaya niya yan. Our brother who said that, Uh, it's just pointing us to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi yung kung kanikaninong tao tayo pumupunta as if yung mga taong yun ang source ng salvation or deliverance natin. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Spirit that leads us. Ang mga tao tulad natin, instrumento lang. Instrumento lang tayo. No? So, let us not think. Sabi nga rito, ito, tuwing mababasa ko ito, naalala ko yung commercial eh. No? Naalala niyo po ba yung commercial? Parang ito, yung commercial ng isang vitamins. Tama ba? What? Ano yan? Pharmaton. Tama, brother. Sabi ito, what the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. No, pharmaton. Hanapin niyo yun. Yun yung, yun yung kanilang ano, motto or parang uh, marketing ano, uh, slogan. So makita natin dito, Uh, this is a humanistic ano, principle. Uh, taking our focus away from God and dun sa tao nakatingin. No? So, hindi positive thinking yung faith, Christian faith. It is founded on belief, strong belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. That He can, he can deliver us. Di ba may kantang yun na can deliver us? Ano ba yung? <laughs> Naalala ko lang. He is able to deliver us. Thank you, sister. Di ba? He is able to deliver us. Our God is able to deliver us. Because we are made in the image of God, ito po, kaya nakakaisip ang tao. Bakit ganun nakakaisip ang tao? Because of our makeup, in the way the Lord designed us, we have, ano yun? Three faculties. The faculty of? Faculty of intellect. Yung, and then the faculty of feelings, yung emotion. And then, yung pa- faculty of decision. So, that's volish, uh, volition, no? Pag, uh, or will, yung pag, pag, uh, pag-de-decide, pag uh, pili, no? So, uh, so, dahil yun ang makeup natin, we are all capable of developing a strong sense of self-confidence, enabling us to achieve great things. Totoo nga naman, so, bakit yung mga players... Bakit yung mga sports, uh, yung mga athletes, no? so sabi nila, just believe in yourself. Tapos nananalo pa sila. So tama nga siguro yung positive thinking. Eh, kaya nagaganap yun, it's because of the design of the Lord ng ating uh, pagkatao. So totoo yun. Pero ang uh, usapin patungkol sa kaligtasan, patungkol sa buhay na walang hanggan, that is not just positive thinking brother and my sis- brothers and sisters no and kung sino man po ang hindi pa kristiyano dito it's not just a matter of positive thinking and living out our christian faith is not just a matter of positive thinking yung eh, uh, ano mo yung sarili mo iko-condition mo yung utak mo parang i-brainwash kaya mo yan kaya mo yan kan but it's not actually that you cannot do that apart from the holy spirit apart from the power of God. Kaya nga ang sabi ni Apostle Paul, di ba? Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, ano pong sabi doon? 
I can do all things. O tumigil doon. I can... O positive thinking yan. <laughs> diba? Pero hindi nagtapos doon yung verse. Anong sabi doon? I can do all things through Christ. Ano pang kasunod? Who strengtheneth me. Diba? It's the Lord. It's the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father acting as one. One God in three persons. No? Acting as one strengthening us in order for us to be able to accomplish that he wants uh, the things that he wants us to accomplish so the ultimate source of biblical faith is god his glorious riches and his incomparable power can only be obtained through christ our lord so familiar na kayo dito po no romans 10:17 ephesians 2:8 and 9 sabi dun sa 10:17 or by faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay, Ephesians 2.8, and sabi doon, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, and not of your positive thinking that you are saved. Diba? Okay. So, and then the means for releasing, ito po ang isang importante. That's why I was struck doon sa binasa natin kanina sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5. The earnest of the Spirit. Napakahalaga nito, hindi lamang bilang tanda na tayo ay mananampalataya na ating Panginoon Yeso Kristo, kundi napakahalaga ito, itong indwelling of the Holy Spirit sa atin, sa ating pamumuhay bilang Kristiyano sa araw-araw. Sabi rito, the means for releasing this kind of faith is the supernatural presence of the person of the Holy Spirit in each of our lives as well as in the corporate lives of Christians who are bonded together in Jesus Christ. We, I ask again, bakit nakayanan ni Jeannie yung mga persecutions na, na nadaanan niya at ng mga kapwa mananampalataya sa bayang Iran? It's because of this. It's because of the supernatural presence of the person of the Holy Spirit. So, if we ask ourselves, bakit parang hindi naman ganun ang pamumuhay ko? Bakit hindi naman parang ganun yung kind ng faith na, na, na nakikita sa buhay ko? Nakikita ko mismo sa buhay ko. Parang ang hina-hina, parang very weak, parang hindi ko uh, na, na accomplish yung ipinagagawa ng, ng Panginoon sa akin. This could be the reason. Because we do not rely upon the Holy Spirit. And we do not believe that by the Spirit's power, we can accomplish great things for the Lord. No? Laging yung, ano na lang, uh, tawag dito, ordinary. Na, uh, the term for that is mediocre performance. Ordinary. Basta magawa lang. No? But it's not something that the Lord will surely be uh, delighted, that the Lord will surely be pleased na ang kanyang puso ay lumulundag sa katuwaan dahil sa klase ng uh, pag exercise ng ating faith, sa klase ng work na which is uh, the fruit of our faith. So, sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, panalangin niya sa mga Kristiyano sa Ephesus. Let's look at this. No? For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that He would grant you, ito yung prayer ni Apostle Paul, that He would grant you what? According to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might or with power by His Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Na yung saving faith, na ang kausap ni Apostle Paul dito ay mga Kristiyano na. So Apostle Paul was not really trying to uh, speak of the saving faith here. But yung living faith nitong mga Kristiyano sa Ephesus, na ito ay lumago at mamanifest. Of course, hindi pwedeng magkahiwalay ito. Growth is always manifested. no? When there's no growth, nothing is manifested. Okay, so to be strengthened with might by His Spirit. I guess the reason why we have a lackluster spiritual life is because of not having this being strengthened no, by the power of the Spirit. 
yung ating inner man. Ang ating inner man ay nagdaraho sa uh, mula sa kapangyarihan ng banal na espiritu. Hindi tayo filled with the Holy Spirit. Yung sabi sa 2 Corinthians 5:7, di ba? For we walk by sight, tama ba? <laughs> For we walk by faith, not by sight. So, itong uh, lessons for us all. Ano ang benefit natin dito sa panalangin ito ni Apostle Paul? Panalangin niya yan sa mga Kristiyano sa Ephesus, but the same prayer is applicable to us. So, unang-una, we should pray the same prayer for ourselves. If Apostle Paul prayed this prayer, this kind of prayer for the Christians in Thessalonica, we can also pray that same prayer for us and for our brethren. No? Uh, that God's Holy Spirit will release God's power in our lives. Uh, I think this is also one learning sa akin. Ano? Uh, na may mga pagkakataon, because we do things regularly, uh, we do things uh, uh, parate, we, ano yan? Yeah, these things become routine to us. Tama po? na para bang nakasalalay na lang sa nalalaman ko, sa lakas ko, para ito ay ma-accomplish. Wala na si Holy Spirit. Wala na si God. Kasi, Lord, I can take care of this. Kasi, alam na alam ko na to. Ilang beses ko nang pinagdaanan ito. Ilang beses ko nang itinuro ito. Ilang beses ko nang minemorize ito. Ilang beses ko nang nasabi ito. And so on and so forth. Na ipamuhay ko na nga. <laughs> Parang ano, no? Ah... Uh, conflicting na ipamuhay ko na nga, Lord. Paano pinamuhay mo tapos nasa set aside ang Holy Spirit? ba? Diba? Even in the small things that we do, we need the leading of the Holy Spirit so that what we do will create an impact doon sa recipient ng action natin. And that is one thing we cannot control. ba? Diba? But it can be controlled by the Spirit. So, sabi natin, whatsoever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it. Anong kasunod? For the glory of God. Alam na alam natin yun. Pero paano magiging makatotohanan yun? That it will really redound to the glory of God. Whether we eat or drink, whatsoever things we do. That can only happen if the Holy Spirit will unleash that power of God in our lives. And that is when we will create impact in the lives of others. May binaisip natin, bakit kaya itong taong ito? Ilang beses ko na siya nakausap. Parang wala lang. No? I, I, can, I can relate to you a, a couple. No? Christian couple. Uh, close friends namin ni Sister Eds. Na kasamahan din namin sa, ano, sa, sa PUP. This Christian couple ay talagang uh, ginagamit ng Panginoon sila ay nakatira sa isang kondo. So, nagsimula yung... yung meron na silang gathering doon, ano, uh, Bible study, and uh, lumalago. Pero it, it, it started with just a decision na sila ay mag-devotion sa rooftop ng building na yon during the pandemic. So, sabi, wala naman masyadong tao. Kakaunti nga yung tenants doon sa, ano, sa, sa kondo na yun, nag-alisan. Eh. So, uh, nakuha nila ng murang-mura yung unit. No? So, sabi nila... Doon sa rooftop, maganda yung, ano, yung uh, ambience and also the view. So, doon tayong mag-devotion. So, nag-devotion sila. Una, magkahiwalay sila, tapos magsasama sila. Magkakatahan sila, magsasharean sila. And they were noticed kasi may makyat doon na, na, na curious yung nakakita sa kanila. Tapos nung nakakita, lumapit. Ano pong ginagawa ninyo? Ah, nag, nag-devotion kami, nag uh, uh, nagpipraise kami sa Panginoon. Pwede pong sumali. So, sabi yung gano'n, sumali siya. Tapos sinayran and so on. At isa sa na-win sa ating Panginoon ay si Toby. You know, Toby Alihar. Oh, siguro yung mga old, oh, sorry, oldies. Uh, mga, <laughs> yung mga, ano, sino po nakakilala sa kanya? Ayun, ayun. Toby Alihar. Ano po? Okay. So, siya ay isang artista. At ang kanyang buhay ay talagang pariwara, no? Napariwara kasi nga, guwapong-guwapo siya, 
chipboy siya, ang dami niyang mga na, napaluhang mga babae, and so on and so forth, until such time na ibinagsak siya ng Panginoon. No? Although he came from a good family, no? I mean, uh, economically speaking. Pero yun nga ang nangyari sa kanya. At doon siya nakatira. And then also, one day, habang nag-devotion itong mag-asawang to, nakita niya, sumali siya. Tapos, they prayed, no? Para dito kay Toby. And then, Toby sensed the leading of the Holy Spirit and then he cried and then he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior. And then he religiously, he faithfully attended that ano, Bible study. No? Nagba-Bible study sila. And in fact, the next time he came, dala-dala niya yung nanay niya. Sabi niya, Nay, sama ka sa akin. Attend tayo dito. And then the mother became a Christian also. So, yun, nanganak, nanganak, nagka, do, and then they are meeting, na, they have already a, a group there. And then, uh, uh, kasama kasi rin namin itong couple na to, doon sa aming Bible study din sa, sa PUP, na nag-online kami during pandemic. No? And we are praying na mabalik yung on-site dahil ang mga empleyado ay pumapasok na uli sa uh, on-site work. So, makita natin dito, Why did it happen to them? It was, God was pleased to unleash His power to this couple so that whenever they address somebody, actually they were led by the Spirit, uh, they were led by the Spirit into talking to someone. And then the Spirit, ginamit lang sila, di ba? And then the words that they shared, the prayers that they prayed for this, this person, ginamit ng Panginoon para itong taong ito ay isuko ang kanyang buhay sa Panginoon Yeso Kristo bilang kanilang Diyos at Tagapagligtas. And so, whenever kami nagmi-meet uh, sa aming Bible study group, yun po, mga sharing of uh, blessings from the Lord. Madalas yun ang kanilang ibinabahagi sa aming sharing time. So, resulting in more faith to do what God wants us to do. Okay? And then, uh, Number two, Paul's pr- prayer also teaches us that when Jesus comes into our own lives, He wants to reveal His presence moment by moment and day by day, living His life through us and accomplishing the very things He asks us to do. Yung Acts, sabi natin Acts of the Apostles, di ba? Ang totoo nun, it is the Acts of the Holy Spirit through the Apostles. Sa ating buhay, it's not really our Acts. If it is really led by the Holy Spirit, it is the acts of the Spirit through us. At kung ganun nga ang nangyayari sa buhay natin, our faith no, is able to do more no, than what we ask and believe. No? And we, we uh, believe to have received from the Lord. So yun ang gusto kasi na ating Panginoon, that we live His life through us. And then the third, so kaya nga, yun ang essence Yung Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17a, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Yung huling bahagi ng panalangin ni Apostle Paul para sa mga Kristiyano sa Ephesus. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. The other term for that is, uh, the other uh, expression for that is, that Christ will be seen in our life. Yun po ang essence nito. Ang Ang Panginoon sa Kristo ang makikita sa ating buhay, ang buhay ng Panginoon sa Kristo. And then the third, this kind of faith defeats Satan. You know, sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, taking the shield of faith wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Because of that kind of faith, that shield of faith, you are able to quench the fiery darts no, of the wicked one, si Satan na itong mga darts niya, these are, that these come in the form of traps, no? Uh, uh, mga patibong ng kaaway para tayo ay mahulog sa kasalanan. Yaan ay uh, malalampasan natin, yaan ay uh, maiiwasan natin, yan ay mapapagtagumpayan natin kung ang banal na espiritu ang siyang na nangingibabaw sa ating buhay. And it is the spirit of the, the power of the spirit that uh, controls our life controls what we think controls what we say controls what we do controls where we go 
And then the last one is biblical faith is not blind faith. It is based on reality. The faith that Apostle Paul preached about, the faith that Apostle Paul shared with other uh, people during his time is a faith that is based on reality. It's not just a faith based on feelings. Kasi pakiramdam ko. Kaya nga tingnan nyo doon sa, sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, ang sabi, and we know. So our faith is based on knowledge that is revealed to us by our God. No? And uh, so, si Apostle Paul, he was saying that yung faith na binahagi niya, he knew beyond a shadow of doubt that Jesus Christ is he was who he said he is. When he said, Jesus is the Son of God, he knew for himself that Jesus is really the Son of God. When he said that Jesus is the Lamb of God, the Savior of every sinner, he knew for himself that that is uh, who Jesus is. Walang hesitation sa isip niya na habang nagsasalita siya. Have you encountered a person who is telling you something, pero sa mukha niya nakikita mo na nagdududa siya? Paano ka naman maniniwala sa kanya? His expression, his facial expression betrays his, uh, his, ano, tawag dito, his uh, sharing. Hindi nagmamatch. No? So, si Apostle Paul is fully, was fully convicted that what he was saying about the Lord Jesus Christ of who He is ay talagang siya, talagang yun na ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Kaya, uh, ang kanyang paniniwala, pananampalataya sa Panginoon ay uh, naganap because he met Jesus Christ face to face on the road to Damascus and he joined hands with Peter and John and other apostles who had witnessed Christ's life, death, resurrection and ascension. So the faith that was delivered unto us from our forefathers, this is the faith. This faith is a faith based on reality. Jesus Christ is the real God, is the real, he is a real human beings who lived here on earth and uh, uh, the God who lived here as a human being and he died on the cross. That's the real. That's a real event. Uh, he offered his body, and he was crucified on the cross. He died, and then he was buried. This is a real event. And then he resurrected from the dead. It's a real event. And then he ascended to the Father with hundreds of witnesses, seeing his ascension up to heaven. And sabi nga ng angel, "Ye men of Galilee, you see this man." Jesus Christ uh, going up to heaven, you will see him again going down in his glory. That is when, that is when he will uh, fetch us, no? Fetch us and bring us to heaven where he prepared a mansion for each one of us. Okay? So, yan po ang uh, bigyan na lang natin ng, ng uh, uh, concluding part next uh, Sunday, God willing, before we proceed to the next lesson. The next lesson is measuring our hope. When you reach home, I uh, urge you to reflect on what we discussed and relate it to ourselves. Uh, kumusta na ba ang pananampalatayang tinamoko mula sa ang Panginoon? Nais nyo bang maging katulad ni Ginny? Maging katulad ng couple na binanggit ko sa inyo? maging katulad ng pastor na yon at sabi nyo, ay, ayokong mapugutan na ulo. Hindi, ibig ko sabihin, that kind of faith that they manifested, if you want that, then let us try to uh, reflect uh, this lesson and relate it to what the Word of God is telling us. Tayo po magsitayo, magsara sa isang panalangin. Ama naming Diyos na dakila sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat po sa lesson namin ito. Measuring our faith, truly you have challenged us, O Lord. You have challenged us to reflect and to revisit, Lord, our present life, how our faith is doing. Is it still growing? Is it still expanding? Is it still deepening? Lord, if not, then as you told us, it is the power of the Spirit that is missing in our life. Lord, grant us this power of the Spirit that we may live a faith 
that is glorifying to you and edifying to the saints. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please take your seat. Magandang umaga po mga kapatid. Bago po tayo magsimula ng ating uh, morning uh, worship service, inaanyayahan ko po ang lahat na, na sa likod na tayo po yung musog, upuan po natin yung bandang harapan. Para po sa pagdating po ng mga late comers, hindi po sila uh, makakadisturb sa, ano, sa preaching. Maski one, ano, one, one, ano, one, one row. One row, ano, forward. Sige po, tayo po tayo lahat and then we move one row forward. Sige po. <laughs> one row forward. <laughs> okay, nakamove po ba tayo? Sino hindi nag-move? O oh, yung ano, yung, yung uh, five rows sa likod, move one row forward. Okay. Sige po. Maraming salamat po. Tayo po yung lahat magsitayo at uh, tayo po yung mawit para sa Panginoon. Purihin po natin ang Panginoon sa awiting to God be the glory. Let's all sing wholeheartedly in the spirit. Okay? Sing. To God be the glory, great things He hath done. So love He the world that He gave us His Son, who yielded His life on atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he hath done. Second verse now. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood. To every believer, the promise of God. The vilest offender who truly believes. That moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he hath done. Last verse now. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done. 
and great our rejoicing to Jesus the Son, but purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He has done. Bago, amen. Bago po tayo magpatuloy, hindi ko po si Brother James na tayo po ipangunahan sa panalangin. Tayo po yung manalangin. Dakilang Diyos sa langit. Salamat Panginoon sa linggong inyo pong binigay sa amin. Salamat Panginoon sa araw na ito. At kami Panginoon ay inyo pong uh, pinagtipon-tipon upang purihin at dakilaan inyong pangalan. Kayo Panginoon na manguna sa buong servisyon namin. At ganoon din sa pakiiling inyo pong salita na nawa inyo pong banal at spirito ang siyang manguna po sa aming kalagitnaan. Ito po na tayo aming dalangin sa pangalan ng Panginoon Jesus. Amen. Amen. May now please be seated po. Uh, Uh, mamayang hapon po ang, ang ating pong service ay magsisimula ng 5 o'clock. Tama po ba? 5 o'clock dahil meron po tayong uh, Lord, uh, Lord's Supper. Ugunitain po natin ang ating Panginoon sa ordinance na ito. Uh, uh, tayo po nawa ay makipag, uh, ayusin po, uh, makipagkasundo po sa ating Panginoon bago po tayo uh, mag Lord's Supper. Uh, sa umaga po, po ito, meron po ba tayong first time visitor? Ngayon, kung wala po ay meron po ba? Okay, wala po. Tayo po ito mayo at welcome each other po. <laughs> Maski wala po tayong bisita, let's welcome each other po sa umagang ito po. Ligaya ng buhay Kung kilala mo si Kristo, ligaya ng buhay, kung siya'y manunubos mo. Babaguhin ang iyong buhay, asiyahay makamtan, ang maging kay Kristo ay tunay na ligaya ng buhay. One more time. Ligaya ng buhay, kung kilala mo si Kristo. Ligaya ng buhay, kung siya'y manunubos mo. Babaguhin ang iyong buhay, kasiyahay makamtan. Ang maging kay Kristo ay tunay na ligaya ng buhay. Let's uh, use this opportunity po para po to move forward, move forward more po. Amen. Are you happy in the Lord? Amen. Uh, muli tayo po ay uaawit. Buksan po natin ang ating songbook sa... Oh, may, may, na, nasa taas naman po. Ay, Work for the night is coming. 116. At uh, pagkatapos po nito ay hinihiling ko po ang choir na... Uh, uh, paawit po sila pagkatapos po ng awiting ito. Ready? Sing. Work for the night is coming. Work to the morning hours. Work while the dew is sparkling. Work mid springing flowers. Work when the day goes brighter. Work in the glowing sun. Work for the night is coming When man's work is done Second verse now 
Work for the night is coming. Work through the sunny noon. Feel bright as our sweet labor. Rest comes sure and soon. Give everything a ying minute. Something to keep in store. Work for the night is coming. When man's work no more. Last verse now. Work for the night is coming under the sunset skies. While their bright things are glowing, work for daylight flies. Work till the last beam faded, faded to shine no more. Work while the night is darkening, when man's work is so.
Jesus walked this path before me, void of friend with comforts few. If I follow in his footsteps, I must know this heart aches too. He was mocked and scorned, rejected, left to die upon a tree. Am I greater than my master, he who gave his life? Shall I stay and dwell with Jesus, though all others turn aside? He has given to me his promise in his shadow I love. Hello, narinig niya po sa likod? Okay, kung hindi may problema na kayo. <laughs> uh, marami salamat sa ating uh, narinig na inihandog ng ating choir sa paglulati sa Panginoon. At uh, tunay na napakadakila niya at napakatapat niya na nararapat lamang na sambahin ang bawat tinubos ng Panginoon. Ang problema, hindi nangyayari ng lubusan ang katotohanan ito. Uh, however, thank God for those who remain faithful to the Lord in season and out of season. 
Uh, most of you know, Mama Yang Hapon, I, the highest place and worship sa buhay ng isang church ang uh, ating uh, uh, pagdalo at uh, sama-samang kasama ang Panginoon sa pananampalataya at sa sariwain ang kanyang dakilang alay na kanyang buhay uh, doon sa krus magdadalawang libong taon na ang nakakaraan. Tandaan ninyo, sa Old Testament, yung promise ng Panginoon ay darating as the promise the Messiah or seed of the woman. Ay it took them 4,000 years to wait. And He did come. E 2,000 pa lang tayo. But dito, nasa dulo na tayo because the last 1,000 years I will be the millennial rule and reign of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we shall see him and we shall be with him and never to ever part with him who loved us and gave himself for us. Next time, pag tayo maglo-Lord Supper, hindi na i-announce surprise na lang para at least maging handa ang bawat membro uh, uh, linggo-linggo at uh, uh, makita natin na sila ay tunay na kasama natin nag-aabang sa pagbabalik ng Panginoon at sa mga uh, sudden and surprise na maaring mangyari sa buhay ng Panginoon at mga anak ng uh, Panginoon na magulat ang bawat isa sa atin. Uh, so mamaya ang cluster groups ay magmimit ng alas 3. You have a lot of time. Alas 5 ay simula ng ating uh, Lord's Supper. And uh, 6 o'clock ay uh, uh, tapos tayo. And thereafter ay meron tayong ginagawa nung panahon na inabolis ka lang ito dahil sa naabuso ng early church na ito ay tinatawag na love feast na doon in-express natin ang ating pag-ibig at pakipag-isa sa mga kapatiran. Okay, you have uh, at least uh, 12 o'clock hanggang 3 o'clock. Kung kayo ay napaka-sobrang talagang uh, 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 tapat sa group ninyo na 1.30 kayo, di mag-1.30 kayo, but definitely you will have all anong gagawin nyo pagkatapos yan. Kaya I'm trying to uh, remind you that you can have a break from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock and you can take a siesta or perhaps do some preparation as we will be uh, doing some preparations with respect to the unleavened bread uh, 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 wine and uh, uh, how it will be uh, served, etc., etc. So, 3 o'clock hanggang 5 o'clock uh, kayo ay mag-meet sa cluster groups ninyo. Okay, two hours. Walang ka-pressure-pressure. Pero sa susunod na Sunday, ay maghapon tayo. As much as possible, ay stay in na lang tayo dito the whole day para I, I am sure we will be uh, needing some more uh, seats in view of the fact that uh, there are several preachers, teachers, and members of other churches that assured me that they will be coming, okay? And then some uh, other graduates of our school will be here, okay? So let's all be prepared for that and uh, pray uh, that the Lord would be glorified in all these uh, events uh, in our lives. We, uh, we must not uh, lose sight of uh, the one reason why we gather and that is to lift up our Lord Jesus Christ and our Father and our uh, Holy Spirit in us to give them the glory. Okay, so I hope you remember these announcements. Okay, so umagang ito, ay alam ng bawat isa, palibas na nakalimutan ko, we are on a series on the lives of those that are around the Lord Jesus Christ. Ano nga palang series yon? The Apostles. Uh, isa sanang magandang patutuo ng Apostle ang aking dadali sa umagang ito. But uh, the Holy Spirit prompted me to shift uh, my message 
on uh, such a man as uh, uh, the uh, apostle whom Jesus loved and uh, the only uh, apostle that died of a natural cause at Yan Ai, uh, natural death, and he lived to be somewhere between 90 to 100 years old because he was the lone apostle that the Lord uh, actually uh, uh, wanted to remain among the apostles para maisulat niya at maging close ang uh, canon of scripture with the writing of uh, the book of Revelation, his fifth uh, book that he wrote in the New Testament. Okay, mamayang hapon ay ating uh, mapapakinggan ng mensahe tungkol uh, sa kahalagahan ng Lord's Supper. Okay? And uh, uh, this morning, ang aking mensahe ay ito ay it revolves around uh, the infamous apostle ng ating Panginoon na kung saan ay pangalan niya pa lang ay alam na ng bawat isa na ito ang tanging pangalan among the Bible characters I suppose sa mga apostles na ito ay iniiwasang gamitin. At uh, uh, very simple, very uh, popular ang buhay ng apostol na ito na uh, iniiwasan nga lang ang uh, kanyang uh, pangalan na ang katutunayan ay hindi naman masama ang kanyang pangalan. Sino kaya ang apostol na ito? Okay, sino? Brother Alan, ikaw ang uh, nakahuli. Ikaw na ngayon magpatuloy. Kasi sabi ko, sino na ako nakahuli spirit <laughs> sa message. <laughs> okay, thank you, Brother. Thank you very much for uh, coming this morning. I would like us, because uh, nung panahon na yun, na malapit na sa cross ang Panginoong Swisto, there were uh, three kinds of men around him at si Judas ang pinakahuli na binanggit dito. And for that matter, I would like us to notice na dahil sa kagagawa ni Judas na iniwasan, iniiwasan ang pangalang ito uh, at hindi ginagamit sa mga nakakaalam uh, sa Bible uh, na maganda ang kanyang pangalan. Ang pangalan Judas ay it means praise. Uh, kaya nga lang napasama ito sapagkat ito ay uh, nagamit sa hindi naangkop na tao na ito ay naging notorious at naglalarawan ng kalungkutan uh, ng buhay ng isang tao na uh, katulad niya ang uh, mga pag-uugali at katulad niya ang naihahayag na uh, bagay contrary sa uh, kanyang pangalan tulad ng mga nag, may mga uh, may mga taong uh, pinapangalan ng Jesus pero ay iba ang kanilang mga ginagawa. So it's really uh, uh, something that we must uh, uh, consider sa umagang ito na kung bakit siya ay naging uh, notorious at naglalarawan ng matinding kalungkutan sa buhay ng lalaking ito at sa, mga, uh, sa buhay ng mga taong nagiging katulad niya ang kanilang mga uh, nagiging mga gawain. So this morning, uh, as we read the Word of God, ay doon sa mga taong nakapaligid sa Panginoon Kristo, He already foretold uh, the future. Sinasabi niya na kung ano ang mangyayari at doon pa man ay inihayag niya na uh, ang mga bagay na mangyayari na nagulat ang isa't isa at hindi sila makapaniwala na siya ito. Kaya nga, nung itinatag ng Panginoon ang Santa Sena, ay the, uh, the question that uh, 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 they previously asked at ganun rin uh, sa atin ay, is it I? <laughs> okay. Sa question ito, is it I? You identify yourselves among the uh, persons uh, around the Lord kung kayo nga ito at you are following the footsteps 
of Judas. And God forbid na ito ay uh, hindi totoo sa atin. But yung katangian niya ay minsan nakikita pa ito uh, at nangyari pa ito, uh, gawain niya sa buhay ng mga anak ng Diyos. Okay? So the title of the message which identifies Judas among uh, the people around him closest to the Lord, yun ay tinatawag na inner circle ng Panginoon, ay ang title ng message na ito is Betrayed. Ipinagkanulo. Kay, have you ever been betrayed by someone whom you trusted? Sino sa inyo nakaranas na nito at yung damdaming ito ay naranasan na nyo na rin. You were betrayed. Ako ay madalas na binibetray. Okay. Okay, marami pala sa atin. At yan ay sisilipin natin sa buhay ng lalaking itong si Judas at iba pang mga nakapaligid uh, sa uh, harap ng Panginoon na kung saan you and I may find ourselves or identify ourselves in one of these three uh, uh, kinds of people during that time na sinabi at inireveal ng Panginoon kung ano ang mangyari sa kanya at kung sino ang magkakanulo sa kanya. Yung palang ibig sabihin ng uh, Tagalog, uh, pagkanulo. Okay, so, uh, ating, uh, oh, siguro si Peter ay eh, ipinagkaila ang Panginoon. But ipinagkanulo, medyo mabigat yon. So, I, for the sake of time, without any further ado, I would like us to open our Bibles and identify yourself uh, which among these uh, people uh, that uh, comprise the inner circle of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you would uh, uh, identify yourself with. And may God help us, and even those that are with us online, please check your spiritual uh, uh, thermometer or condition of life. Okay, uh, John chapter uh, John chapter six is a very wonderful uh, uh, chapter. At dito ay inilabas ng pinon ang isang pinakamagarang uh, 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 claim uh, o pag-aangkin niya na siya ay tunay na Dios. Na dito ay binanggit niya ang one of the seven great I am's of God. I am the bread of life. Okay, I am the bread of life. And then the honest confession of uh, uh, an apostle na ang sabi niya, sabi ni Peter, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. So, no question, the issue of the deity of Jesus being God is answered in chapter 6. And believe me, utang natin lahat sa Kalbaryo sa Panginoon ang ating kaligtasan dito. Because sabi ng Panginoon, walang sino mang makakalapit sa Kanya maliban na siya ay idro o ilapit ng Ama sa Panginoon. You cannot do it yourself. The Father did it. And so Jesus Christ came to seek and to save those that the Father have drawn to Him. At dito ay mapapansin natin uh, ang uh, balitag ito na kung saan sabi ng Panginoon sa John chapter 6, maliban na uh, in connection with the Holy Week as well as with uh, the uh, uh, Lord's Supper tonight, ang sabi ng Panginoong Isu Cristo dito sa John chapter 6, I would like uh, you to notice with me please, at uh, so verse 53, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink uh, His blood, you have no life in you. So anong Nasa likod nitong sinabi ng Panginoon na maliban kayo ay kumain ng katawan ng flesh ng Panginoon at pagkatapos uminom ng kanyang uh, dugo ay kayo ay walang mga buhay. Ang sabi ng isang religious organization, ito ay pag ginagawa ang Lord's Supper ay ang hostya o ang tinapay ay nagiging literal na uh, katawan ng Panginoon at ang uh, wine ay nagiging 
uh, dugo ng Panginoon. Ang problema, kumakain lamang yung mga miyembro at siya lamang ang kumakain at umiinom para sa lahat. At ang iba naman, ibang pangkahulugan ang bibigay. But I do believe with all my heart that this statement of the Lord na kung sino man makakain ng kanyang uh, uh, katawan at makainom ng kanyang dugo ay he was uh, uh, foretelling about uh, that death on the cross and in a special way doon sa kanyang itataguyod na first Lord's Supper night. So doon ito ay ating mapapansin na it is sa salitang ito ng Panginoon except uh, you eat and uh, his uh, flesh and drink his blood ay what connotes uh, behind this uh, uh, scripture uh, that impresses me is that he is speaking of the coming Lord's Supper na kanyang itatatag na this is a restricted ordinance na doon lamang ito para sa mga ligtas at mga membro ng lokal na church na yon na, uh, na bautismohan at membro ng church na nagdaraos ng uh, Santa Sena. But that is not yet my message. Kinukunek ko lang sa inyo that this is a wonderful chapter and if you would read it over and over again, hindi niya maiwasang lumuhod sa harap ng Diyos at ihalay sa Kanya ang walang patid na pasasalamat for so undeserving ang bawat isa sa atin and yet it please God to save you by His grace. So that we, we owe Him everything. Okay? At I'll prove that in a few while. So, sa John chapter 6, ay ang message natin na aking pinamagatang betrayed ay masusumpungan among the three kinds of people uh, na nakapaligid sa ating Panginoong Kristo after having delivered about uh, one of His IMs na nagbibigay sa atin ng kasiguruhan na tayo ay may buhay na walang hanggan at tayo ay may uh, intimate relationship sa Panginoong Kristo by way of His saving grace. Uh, John chapter 6, and notice with me please, uh, simula natin ang ating uh, uh, talata. This is going to be the text that I will uh, expound on uh, dito sa John chapter 6. Ang title ay Betrayed. Okay? So, uh, verse 66 to verse 71. From the time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And then, then said Jesus unto the, his, the disciples, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Father, bless your word, impress the truth, and help us to live in the light of these people whom we identify with today. And I do pray that we would be, uh, we would find ourselves in the best company, the company of God, and those uh, that really love him and long for his return. And we thank you this Lord's Day morning that we can approach your throne of grace in preparation of the Lord's Supper as well as the coming event next uh, Lord's Day. God helping us should the Lord tarry from his sudden uh, at any moment an announce coming oh, that we might all be ready at all time. 
And Father, encourage uh, our uh, sick members, keep uh, our members who may be working abroad and uh, keep them from uh, a harm or uh, from uh, uh, sickness and from uh, the various hearts that uh, may be inflicted upon uh, their lives abroad. I do pray that you would reach out to them with that hand uh, that uh, uh, provides your protection, uh, your preservation, as well as uh, your uh, uh, power to keep them uh, and uh, wherever they may be. And I do pray that all of us would be ready and have a right spirit as we eat and drink in tonight's Lord's Supper. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ang title ng message is found in the last verse ng sabi dito, For he it was that should betray him. So ang tatlong nakapaligid doon at kaharap ng Panginoon na isinlaysay ng Panginoon ang kanilang uh, various uh, reactions ng sinabi ng Panginoon na siya nga ito. He is God uh, incarnate in human flesh na katapat niya dito ay ang lalaking ito that betrayed him is it is Satan in human flesh. Both of them actually uh, were an incarnation of deity and the devilish, uh, the devil and devilish uh, 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 person na nais na uh, sirain ng ating Panginoon at ang bawat isa sa atin. So, sino ang tatlong ito? First of all, dito sa verse 66 ay ating mapapansin mga backsliden Marami nang sinabi ito ng Panginoon na turn off sila. Akala na tuloy-tuloy na ito na kainan at uh, long table at is uh, uh, pure uh, uh, happiness. Pero nang sinabi ito ng Panginoon ay sila ay nagsipaglayo na. And even the apostles later, they all uh, uh, turned their backs upon the Lord. Even the apostle Peter uh, three times uh, I, uh, he denied the Lord. So hindi natin maiwasan yun sapagkat uh, sa panahong yon ay parang itinuturing na doubtful o uh, uh, banta uh, sa uh, pamahalaan at ganun rin sa relihiyon ng Judaism ang Christianity, ang pananampalatayang taglay at ihahayag ng Panginoon sa kanyang pagdating. So marami ay some face lang pala nung uh, kailan higit na kailangan sila ng Panginoon ay nawala sila. So many uh, left the Lord. They were backslidden. Di ba? Wala naman backslider na lumalapit sa Panginoon. It's always lumalayo. The second ay sa confession ni Apostle Peter, those that believed him, that stood with him, ang sabi dito, then Simon Peter answered uh, him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. So verse 69, and we believe. Yan talagang, they were so persuaded. Uh, they were under deep Holy Spirit condition to stand their ground that this is indeed uh, the promised Messiah and this is the Son of the living God. Okay? At ang pinakamalungkot, na nasandwich yung uh, faithful believers ay the one who betrayed him na identify ng Panginoon na ito'y walang iba kundi Judas Iscariot who should betray him. So the title of the message is Betrayed. If you would check your Bible about this man, you will discover that he is mentioned in all four uh, 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 gospel writers from Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and then the end <clears throat> ay doon sa uh, Book of Acts chapter 1 from verse 13 forward the final uh, uh, record sa buhay ng lalaking ito na siya'y pinangalanan so popular siya 
nirecord ng mga manunulat uh, ng gospel ang tungkol sa buhay ng lalaki ito. Betrayed. Okay? Sa tingin ko sapagkat marami sa mga alagad ng Panginoon sa masama sila para ang kanilang uh, ang kanilang uh, mindset is tayo-tayo, uh, kami-kami, sama-sama kami. Okay? So hindi nila nalalaman na isa pala dito na sinabi ng Panginoon, one of you is a devil na he was referring uh, to Judas Iscariot na hindi niya pa pinangalanan among the apostles. One of you is a devil. <clears throat> so uh, uh, dito ay uh, parang uh, sa ganitong kalagayan ng sinabi ng Panginoon ang tungkol sa magkakanulo sa Kanya. At paano mga paraan ba tayo maaring ipagkanulo ang Panginoon? That will come up as we proceed in the message. That some of us may not be named Judas or Judases or Judasa, but we may uh, be uh, doing exactly uh, what Judas is doing. Okay? So we may even have a good name and we may be a faithful church member. But just remember, we, uh, uh, we still have the old sinful nature. Okay, it will be with us for a lifetime. And thank God there is going to be a final change that we will only have one sinless and never to commit any sins forever. Sa pagbabalik ng Panginoon or at the time of our physical departure from this life. So, uh, uh, dito sa ating abinasang talata, ay ang salitang betrayed ay meron itong katapat na salita na ang salitang ito ay deceived. Na-deceive ang lahat ng mga kasamahan niya. And wherever the Lord goes with His apostles, uh, uh, people were deceived by this man. Okay? So, uh, ating mapapansin na ang uh, being deceived is Yung taong ito, deceiver, is actually, walang iba sa pariseyo, na sila ay uh, 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 pretenders. Nagpipretend sila. Uh, this is one thing about living a pretentious life. Pretending what you are not. Ating mapapansin ng panahon ng uh, kainitan, uh, before the pandemic ay merong isang team uh, sa NBA na kung saan ay ang naging coach nila ay uh, uh, yung team nila is always uh, uh, at the bottom sa lahat ng mga teams at mga laro nasa ilalim sila in other words sa tawikang Pilipino yata o Kastila dihado sila Okay. Pero naisip ng coach nila na si uh, Cotton, uh, uh, Cotton Fitz uh, Simmons, na sabi niya, I'll motivate my team so that they would play harder and better and that we can win. We can avoid uh, play being placed at the very bottom. So he called his team, uh, and, uh, nagpa-practice ito and nagpe-prepare for that day that they will uh, uh, be playing against a very strong uh, team, ang Boston Celtics. Sino sa inyo napanood o naridig na ang Boston Celtics? Magagaling yun eh. Palaging champion yun in the past. So, makakalaban nila ito. So, ang uh, approach niya, ang mindset niya at ginamit niyang kasangkapan doon sa mga uh, team members niya na nagpa-practice, naghanda sila, ay sa mind ng mga ito, in, he inculcated uh, na hamon niya ito as a motivational coach. Sabi niya, Tim, alay kayo dito. Uh, sabi niya, makakaharap natin sa laro natin na team ay malakas. At for championship sila, ang Boston Celtics. Isipin natin ngayon, let's determine in our hearts at sa ating mga isipan Okay? Let's pretend. Okay? Let's pretend 
that we can beat them. Okay? Sabi ng natin, we'll do our best effort at lahat ng play. Let's pretend that we are a champion facing a champion sa playoff na ito. Let's pretend that we are of the same strength sa kanila. Lahat sila sa agreed sa kanilang coach nila. So lahat na. Sabi na, let's just pretend. So pagsikapan natin lahat ito. Come that day that all of them from the coach to the members were excited at ngayon naglabahasan uh, na yung mga team at mag-warm up na sila at they were so excited at lahat ng nasa ulo nila ay yung sinabi ng coach. Okay? After na mag, uh, mag-inquetro, maglaban na maglaro na, ay ginawa nila ang lahat ng abot makakaya nila, etc. Lahat ng payo ng coach nila ay malaki ang lamang na tinalo sila. Sabi niya, hindi umubra. Sabi ni Cotton, sabi niya, hindi umubra. Lungkot na lungkot siya. Sa isang lugar, upset siya. Sabi niya, saan ba kami nagkulang doon? Hinamon ko na ito. Decided sila to give it their best shot. Sabi na ito. Hanggang yung uh, mga naglalarong uh, uh, team members ng team niya, ay isa doon ay lumapit sa kanya at sa kanyang likod ay tinatap siya. Sabi niya, coach, coach, alam niya, upset at depression coach. Sabi niya, coach, cheer up. Let's pretend that we won the game. <laughs> they lost. <laughs> Pretending that they won the game does not change the fact that they lost. <laughs> Ayan ang approach ng coach. Let's pretend. 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 Okay. Okay, so I hope we would not uh, 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 hide behind pretension. Let's uh, uh, be real uh, and our real self. Okay? Let's be sincere and uh, honest about ourselves. So there are three simple things that I would like to make mention of Judas and why he betrayed the Lord. This is a very common story. Alam na ninyo ito kahit hindi ko na ipagpatuloy at tapusin. Right? Alam na ninyo ito. But siguro naman, sariwain na lang natin in view of the Holy Week. Okay? Three things, simple things, sa likod ng sinabi ng Panginoon dito, nang sabi niya, dito, Jesus answered them, sa lahat sila, nag-alisan ng iba, have not I chosen you twelve and one of you is a devil? Wow. Di kaya nagkamali ang Panginoon na pinili niya a demonyo? A devil? Nagkamali ang Panginoon o hindi? Sabi ng iba, nagkamali. Akala ko ba, Diyos uh, Kristo? But there was a purpose. Alam natin ito. May purpose. Why? Okay? At yan nga, ay this man was chosen for a very specific uh, purpose sa plan at programa ng Diyos upang kayo at ako ay maligtas. So, dito ay pinili niya si Judas for a purpose. Okay? Three things about Judas. Kung alam na alam na ninyo, sabihin nyo nga sa akin para malaman ko na alam na ninyo ang sasabihin ko. Wala man lang bang prophet o prophetess sa ating kalagitnaan? Kung gusto pa ninyong matuto, fine! Okay? Three simple things. First of all, dito sa sinabi ng Panginoon, uh, Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. First of all, let's consider, uh, at least siguro hindi pa rin ito napakinggan, his descent. Yung kanyang pinanggalingan, yung kanyang nin, mga ninuno, yung, uh, uh, ang kanyang uh, uh, family. Very, very simple. At hindi gaanong ibinigay sa atin ang kabuuan ng kanyang family tree o ang kanyang roots except ang kanyang father na ito'y nangangalan rin Simon. 
But how can we identify that he is different from Simon Peter na marami nag-akala na siya ay anak ni Simon Peter? If you read it, na hindi niyo check in, parang you will conclude as many uh, does na siya ay anak uh, ni Apostle Peter. Okay? But not so. Okay? Ating uh, mapapansin, secondly, his downfall. Bakit siya bumagsak sa kanyang uh, uh, buhay? Ano ba siya? Ano ba ang kanyang uh, uh, dahilan? At saan ba siya? Where did he fell from? Sapagat marami nag-aakusa na ang kaligtasan raw is walang katotohanan ang sa, uh, salitang once saved, always saved. Anya, suliin ninyo si Judas. Nang sabi sa Bible, he was chosen by Jesus. He was called to be an apostle and yet he fell from salvation. Okay? So, ating mapapansin, number three, his death. At doon tayo magtatapos. Mamaya. First of all, his descent or descendants or his uh, uh, family uh, background. Ang sabi dito ay ito lang ang tanging record. Wala tayong makikita prior to this event na anumang uh, pinanggalingan at sino ang magulang ng lalaking ito maliban sa talatang ito na sinabi ng Panginoon na si Judas Iscariot is the son of Simon. Sinong Simon ito? There are many persons mentioned in the Bible named as Simon. Okay? Kasama na dyan si Simon Peter, tinawag rin Cephas. Ating mapapansin na itong Simon na ito ay na-identify itong si Judas ay una Simon o Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Ang pangalang ibinigay ng Panginoon sa kanyang Judas to identify him from the rest of the uh, mentioned uh, uh, men in the Bible named Judas, Judah, or uh, 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 Judah, Judas. Ay, ang pangalang ito ay praise, pero sinira niya dito ang kaulugan nito. Ang pangalang itong Judas Iscariot sapagat one other apostle ng Panginoon ay nangangalang uh, Judas Thaddeus. So dalawa pala sila. To differentiate him from that apostle, Iscariot ang ibinigay niyang uh, surname ng lalaking ito. That identifies Judas, itong nagbetray sa kanya. Please, yun lang ang focus natin. Huwag niyong idadali sa ibang Judas. Ha? Judas lamang ay ating mapapansin sa likod ng salita ng Panginoon, Iscariot, na siya ay tubong doon sa isang town or city na ito ay tinawag na Keriot na ang kanyang tatay ni si uh, uh, Simon ay siya ay isa sa mga uh, naging uh, uh, tagapagmana ng uh, inheritance na lupa doon sa tribo ni uh, Simeon. Yung tribo ni Simeon. Kaya parehang pangalan niya, Simon or Simeon. Simon. Simeon. So Simeon ito. Na ito ay nagbibigay ng identity ni Judas Iscariot na tigaroon that among the twelve apostles, bukod tanging ito lamang na si Judas Iscariot among the twelve apostles ang hindi Galilean from that seashore around the lake or the sea of Galilee. Siya lamang naiba siya talaga pala. At siya Believing itong lugar na ito na namana ng kanyang mga ninuno na doon ang kanyang magulang at doon rin siya nang galing uh, sa lugar na ito, ay ito ay lugar namana ni Simeon na ito ay located somewhere south ng uh, 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 lugar ng Judah. 
In other words, Judea, uh, Judean siya. Hindi siya Galilean. So nakita na ninyo, sino sa inyo alam na ninyo ito before? Raise your hands. Alam niya na ito before. Na hindi siya Galilean, kundi siya ay Judean. O kabilang ni Brother Alan. Sino sa inyo ngayon lang nalaman ito? Honest, ganyan yun lang nalaman ito. Sino sa inyo wala akong pakialam? Nakakalaw ka po punta kayo, wala kayo pakialam. Eh wala talaga yung mabubulot. Hindi kayo mabibless sa pagpunta ninyo sa church. Kasi wala naman kayong pakialam. So dito ay, this identifies him na siya ay kakaiba. As a matter of siya lamang ang pininpoint ng Panginoon that pinili ko kayong 12 apostles pero isa sa inyo ay jablo. Okay? So hindi pa yun alam. Na-deceive yung mga apostles. Hindi niya pa nila alam. Pero ang Panginoon, being God, ay alam niya na ito. Sinabi niya na. He was referring to para hindi tayo ma- uh, mailigaw o maligaw ay tayo ay uh, uh, sinulatan na dito ng manunulat na siya si Judas Iscariot. The only apostle, okay, that did the most hurt that uh, ang kanyang buhay ended very, a tragedy, tragic and very, very sad. At siya mismo na-realize ito and uh, this caused him to undergo the uh, uh, depression that could not be healed and that he took with him until the next life he went into his own place. Okay, so second, notice his downfall. Ang kanyang downfall. Kaya medyo may hangover pa si Judas sa mga Kristiyano ngayon. Ang uh, dalawang vicious na uh, gawain na naging sanhi ng kanyang pagkanulo sa Panginoon at nagka-interest siya na ipagbili ang Panginoon sa halagang tatlongpong pirasong pilak a redemption uh, money na kung saan 30 pieces is the price of a slave. Hindi sovereign ang pagkakilala sa kanya ni Judas. He is not Sovereign, he is not the king of kings. He is not lord of lords. Kaya nga in the Bible, if you have a Scofield Bible, you will find that Judas is the first Aryan among the early Christians. Anong ibig sabihin ng Aryan? Na ngayon ay nag-exist ang doktrina o system na ito na tinawag na Aryanism. Ang ibig sabihin nito galing ito uh, sa isang propagator ng false uh, 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 philosophy na ito ay si Arius. Arius. At ang Arianism na kanyang itinayo at ikinalat sa pagsalungat sa katotohanan uh, na ang Panginoon ay may dalawang uh, likas o kalikasan. He is both God and man na sinabi ni Apostle Paul, there is one God and one mediator between man and that is the God-man, Jesus Christ. Sabi ni Arius, it's not so. Jesus Christ, ang Arianism teaches that Jesus Christ is only a mere man. Siya ay isang tao lamang. Hindi siya Diyos. Ang daming religions ngayon dito, malalakas sila, involved sila sa politika at very influential sila. Nakakaakit ng maraming umanib sa kanila. Iba-ibang religion na nagsabi at iniinsult ang Panginoon na siya ay hindi Diyos na nagkatawang tao. But you cannot be a Christian and must less a Baptist that you would deny that Jesus Christ is God incarnate in human flesh except na kayo lahi ni Judas. Okay? And Arius. Alam ninyo ba ang Arianism? Okay. It's a theology. It's a philosophy. 
So, it's all around us. Ang nalulungkot lang ako, kung sino pang mali, yun pa mga agresibo na ikalap ang kanilang pananampalataya at ang kanilang simbahan at ang dami nilang nadadala. Wow, doon lang ako na, 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 na uh, tatakay. At tayong mga tunay na mga anak ng Diyos na hawak ang katotohanan, na may karapatang ipamahagi ang katotohanan, we sip our mouth. Tahimik tayo. So, may the Lord help us and raise uh, many Christians who would speak up for the Lord. And then, ating uh, mapapansin na ang cause ng downfall ng lalaking ito, dalawa, why he became, he's known as a traitor, traitor, kabilang doon, the Lord offered him that friendship and the Lord even after what he had done uh, to the Lord, tinawag pa siya, siya ng Panginoon, friend. May friendship siya sa Panginoon. Kasama-sama siya, narinig niya, nangangaral ang Panginoon, na nagpe-perform ang Panginoon ng miracles, wonders, at lahat ng mga talaga supernatural activities that only God Himself could perform. And yet, how come? Dalawa. Una, dalawang kasalanan niya nag-cause, nagpabagsak niya. Una, February, he was a thief. Paano nangyari ito? Okay. At sa likod ng kanyang thievery, sa kanyang being a thief, sinabi mismo ng Panginoon, sa John chapter 12, from verse 1 to verse 12, sinabi ng Panginoon doon, nung nag-alay sa kanya, itong uh, babaeng si Maria, nang nag-anoin sa kanyang katawan, uh, nang mamahala, mamahaling ang gwento, at pinunasan siya na nagpapatunay na ang Panginoon ay malapit ng iwanan sila at mamamatay ang Panginoon, etc. He anointed the body from the pit and the body of the Lord. He preserved uh, this very precious ointment for that day. He did not even use it for his brother Lazarus. He preserved it. Nung naro ng Panginoon, ay binuksan niya ito. Talaga yung, uh, yung kabanguhan ng uh, Uh, ointment na ito at ang alabaster box na nakapalaman dito ay it feel it saturated every uh, part of the room at naroon si Judas sabi ni Judas wow sayang parang sinasabi niya pagbibigay kayo sa Diyos say team song mo sayang ang maming kanta yata yung team song na yon bikula <laughs> Sino yun yung bantong yun, sayang? O, oh, ade, ade lang, akle. Sayang. Ibibigay mo sa Panginoon. Eh, kailangan mo yun. Kailangan ng pamilya nyo. Sabi niya, sabi ni uh, Maria, the Lord deserved the very best. Pero Judas said, oh, it's a waste. Sabi niya, pwede sana itong ipagbili ng 200 denarius. So much money. At pagkatapos, ang proceeds na ito ay pamigay itulong natin sa mga mahihirap. At ang sabi ng record dito ay yung sinabi niyang itong sa kanyang sarili na nabasa ng Panginoon na sinangayunan ng ibang apostles, what a waste. Nagkaisa sila dito na paniwala sila ni Judas that sayang ito na ang sabi ng Panginoon na Judas, okay, ang reason is nang hinayang siya ay because he has fallen for materialism. Kasi kasama-sama siya tatlong taon that wherever the Lord goes and after the Lord has helped and the Lord uh, had healed and whatever assistance the Lord could offer those uh, that would be brought to him or come to him, na after this, as a token of gratitude, sila ay nagbibigay ng uh, pera. At ito, the, the first treasurer ng first church, the first Baptist church, na sisindak siya sa mga contributions na pumapasok. Sabi, sige, lagay nyo dito. Sige, dagdagan pa ninyo. 
para na siyang sigihase. So, wow, okay ito. At ang sabi ng Panginoon, behind his materialism was Judas was covetous. He saw the income that materialism, the money that were coming in. Kaya sabi niya, it's worth to be where the Lord is because I can get money, more money, and much money. Oh, tiba, tiba. And then Father, the Lord said, it made him unfaithful to the cause of God and truth. At ang third reason why he resorted to Thibirioi, why he was a thief, magnanakaw siya, ay because ang sabi ng Panginoong Isokristo ay sa bawat inilalagay niya doon sa treasury, yung sako pala butas. He was guilty of embezzlement. Ano bang embezzlement? Brother Aris, sa bang embezzlement? Somebody please from the banking uh, sector. He embezzled the monies that were given to the Lord and to the church. Huh? Nilaspag niya, nilalaspag niya, ginagamit niya pang sarili. Oh. He was not really willing to share. So maramot siya yun pala dahil sariling interest at pakinabang lamang. Kaya kung tayo ay mas mahal natin yung pera kay kay sa Panginoon, naghihinayang tayo magbigay sa Panginoon, masama man sabihin ito. Ako na lang, shame on us. Nagkakaya tayo sa Panginoon. Sumusunod tayo sa alimbawa ni Judas because kung kaya'y tulad ko nakasakay sa jeep, nung ako'y nagkakamute pa sa jeep, ay pagpasok ko, ako'y nakukonvict ka agad sapagkat doon sa sign sa jeep, pagpasok mo at pagupo mo, who does not pay? Sino, sino sa inyo nakasakay na sa jeep na may sign? Who does not pay? Nangungunin siya, siya, who does siya? Pag kaya, magnanakaw ka, gusto mo lamang comfort, makasakay, pagkatapos ayaw mo mag-share ng responsibilidad mo, you are either a Judas as an example or a Jesus who is more than willing to give. It is more blessed to receive than give. Amen? Oh, at least it walang natutulog. Hoy! Sa natutulog. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen ba? <laughs> so ito yung pansin. Pangalawa kung bakit trinidor niya ang Panginoon. Ano bang oras natin? Sabi ko kanina, 20 minutes lang. Pero binawi ko ang introduction. One hour ang message. Traitor! Pambira, trinidor ako ng kapatid na ito. Kaya kung kayo may may confidential na nalalaman, it's better to keep your mouth shut. You may have your closest friend, but if you relay your close, to your closest friend something that is to be confidential and secret, natapos na, nagtapos na yung pagiging secret dito. Kalat na yan. Okay, so I hope you and I are real, true friends of the Lord. You and I are True friends that can hold confidential matters confidential. Treat it confidentially. Amen? Nagkasalita pala ako dito sa mga hindi mapagkakatiwalaan. Bakit pa ako nagsasalita sa inyo? Hindi mo pala kayo mapagkatiwalaan. Nang salita ng Diyos ay ito'y inyong maunawaan at ito'y mag-ibagi ng inyong mga buhay. Okay? I hope and pray na ngayon ay kung hindi makabubuti sa ating kapwa it's better to keep your mouth shut kung makasisira rin lang naman ito that's the way of Judas eh. trinaidor niya ang Panginoon after all that the Lord had done to him basahin nyo kasi mahaba ito imagine apat na books 
At pagkatapos nagtapos sa Book of Acts chapter 1. So, nung ito ay nung ito ay uh, panahon na para siya ay kumita ng mas higit at mas malaki, nakipagsundo siya sa high priest at sa mga religious uh, crowd nang sabi niya, oh, gusto niyong iligpit si Jesus Cristo na dahil sa kanya nawawalan kayong mga tigasunod, well, ako ang magdadala sa inyo kung sino siya at saan siya masusumpungan sa oras na ito. Alam ko ang lugar na tagpuan niya. Sabi ng high priest, okay, name your price. So, yeah, 30 pieces of silver. Linggo ngayon, wag na kayo a-absent sapagkat double pay kayo. Okay, hindi double pay. <laughs> hindi, pero Christian, ako eh, I have to be in the house of God. I was glad when they said that to me. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. O sabi mo, hindi ka makukuha sa double na. Sige, titriplin ko ang sweldo. Mag-overtime ka lang kasi kailangan itapusin. O sige na. <laughs> Nahudas ka. Okay. Pinagbili mo ang Panginoon sa ganung halat. The Lord has been good to you. He has supplied all your needs and you are what you are to this very day at never at any time that the Lord failed you nor forsook you. At ganito lang na konting increase at prosperity, promotion ay natinag na kayo at lumalayo na sa Panginoon. Huwag niyong hudasin na Pasok na pakabigat ng termino. Eh, di ba nagagawa natin ito? Di ba? At sana ay settled ang ating mga puso at ang ating mga isipan. Looking unto Jesus. At Jesus has no rival sa ating mga buhay. Thou shalt have no other gods beside or before me. Let Him be God of, in your life and Lord in your life. Don't barter with something less or anything less. Let Jesus be the Lord and Savior and King. At dahil dito, nasiraw siya. Sige, sabi niya, ganitong lugar ha. Sundan ninyo ako, ha? tatahimik lang ko, pero nasa unahan ninyo ako. Hindi tayo magsama-sama. Isa-isa lang. Naalala ko tuloy itong isa-isa lang. Nang nasa Bible school kami sa Makati at narinig siya, Baxley din kami mga estudyante sapagkat grabe talagang training namin at saka grabbing needs namin, etc. Ay sa backsliding uh, state namin, ay napapagkasunduan namin ng bawat isa mag-chip in. Isa lang ang bibili ng ticket para makapanood kami makapagpalamig sa sinihan. Isa lang ang bibili. Chip in. At pagkatapos kami, lahat naglalakad doon sa harap ng sinihan to and fro. Tinitingnan kasi namin kung may iba kang managkamali na may makikita sa amin. Oh, mga nanonood ng sini, mga Bible students pa naman. Sinasabi ko lang katotohanan sa inyo. Katapos, pag nabili na lahat, tatango lang yung, uh, yung bumili. Okay. One after the other, sunod-sunod na yan doon. Pila kami. At pagdating, may madali. Oh, nakaka nakakahinga na kami. Sa loob ng sinihan, upo na kami, malamig. At lahat, di namin sukat akalain. Si sinihan pala dito, ay merong intermission. Pagliwanag nito, lahat kami yukuan. <laughs> At pag kami nagyukuan, binabantayan namin kung baka may nagkamali rin na naroon. Kita namin, mga official ng church, deacons, lahat naroon rin pala. What a surprise. Pero hiyak-hiyak kami, hayaan mo na sila. Nakita namin sila, pero kami hindi nila nakita. Ito niya. Kaya mga experience namin in Bible school is in 1969. Matindi talaga. Okay. We all go through that uh, uh, experience na at least uh, hindi tayo mainit all the time. Etc. We learn. At dito'y, sabi niya, 
Layo layo, may distansya kaibigan. Ah, parang sasakyan, distansya lang kayo. Ako mauna doon. Because I will lead you. Hindi nyo alam kung saan ang secret place na doon ang Panginoon. He is alone with his uh, uh, three intimate uh, apostles na nag-aabang sa isang uh, lugar na sila ay willing na harangin ang sino mang uh, pupunta sa Panginoon sapagkat oras ito ng kanyang meditation. Prayer. Sabi niya, pagdating ko doon, ha, ang sign na ibibigay ko sa inyo sa taong ito ay hahalikan ko siya. Nasa prophecy lahat eh, ginawa ni Judas. Sabi ng Panginoon through Solomon, Proverbs 26, uh, uh, 27 verse 6, sabi niya, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Yung kiss na yun, halikunas! Kunwari, halikalik. Ano tawag dito yun sa halikalik? Sika-tsika. Pagkatapos pang talikod mo, marites pala. Sika-tsika! Mamaya, siyaron pala. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Inalikan niya. Si, hindi naman sana masama yung kiss. Doon. In Bible times, that is how they greet each other. Sabi ni Apostle Paul sa mga Roman believers, Roma 16, 16, every time makita kayo ng mga lugar na identify sa ink, ay Roma 16, 16, greet the brethren with an holy kiss. Di ba? Okay, holy kiss. Yun is a sign of intimacy, friendship, and closeness. Nagkunwari siya. Puro pakunwari. It was a case of death. Pinagbili niya ang Panginoon. At si Peter, talagang pinatunayan niya. Nobody can touch you, Lord, except through my dead body. Shak! Tinuha niya ang kanyang ispada. Mm, tinaga niya. Yung isa sa mga pumupunta doon sa Panginoon para arestuhin siya, servant of the high priest, si Malchus. Mm, natag- siguro ang intensyon niyang tagayin ay yung ulo. Marunong na makailag, tinamaan lang, ay ang tenga. Pinulot ng Panginoon at binag- binigay, sinuli ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, Pedro, ibalik mo sa kanyang sisidlan ang iyong espada. He who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. My mission is to advocate peace and reconcile people. Hindi ito rebellion. So ating mapapansin, inaresto na ang Panginoon. Binayaran na siya. Isa, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, hanggang Jesus, I'm silver, sabi niya, tiba-tiba ako. Sabi niya, isang halik lamang cost 30 pieces of silver. The most expensive kiss of all time. At nung siya yung maalis na pala yun, ha? ang kanyang kaluluwa, he was being tormented of that betrayal na kung saan tinaydor niya, pinagbili niya ang lalaking sa kanya ay nagtiwala na siya'y tawaging naging apostol, na siya'y kaibiganin at lahat. Ipinagbili niya, ipinagkanulo niya. And then sinusuli niya, Hi priest, sinusuli ko po. I have betrayed innocent blood. Kunin niyo na ito. Sabi na, Hi priest, lumabas na yan sa aming pundo. Hindi na namin maaaring tanggapin. So out of misery and uh, uh, that depression, lumayo si Udas at pagkatapos itinapon niya. It's not worth it. That's why tinawag ito as a field of curse and a field of uh, blood. And the sabi ni Unas, nagrabi <laughs> ito. Out of that miserable condition, he was so me- melancholic and then depressed. Sabi niya, hindi ko na matanggap ito, hindi na ko dito patutulungin. Kumuha siya ng tali at pagkakas sinilagay niya sa isang puno. And pagkatapos, mm, sabi niya, magpapakamatay na lang ako. Nagpakamatay siya. Kaya lahat ng nagpapakamatay, 
ang kanilang idol ay si Judas. So, depression. And then sabi ng Panginoon, Judas went into his own place. Ganun rin sa Acts chapter 1 verse 33 forward. Anong ibig sabihin? He went to his own place. He went, he went directly to hell. One day soon after the rapture, Judas will be impersonating and he will be incarnated in the Antichrist. Believe me. He went to his own place. Una, pinili ng Panginoon si Judas bilang apostle, but hindi at pinili siya sa opisina lamang. So he fell from apostle. He was not chosen to salvation. Tandaan niya, salvation is a choice that God exercises. Sa 1 Thessalonians 2, 13, uh, 14, God had chosen us before the foundation of the world. So pinili siya bilang apostol, pinili siya para maging kasangkapan. At ang sabi sa Biblia, pinagbili niya ang Panginoon, ay ang sabi sa Biblia that the Lord Jesus Christ was not, not surprised because He was delivered, si, uh, si Judas delivered the Lord into the hands of the enemies. 33 times ang word na betray, uh, 15 times at ang word na betrayed na gawain ni Judas, 18 times, equivalent 33 times ay pinagkanulot niya ang Panginoon as mentioned in the Bible. At then, ang salitang uh, uh, betray o betrayed sa Greek ay hindi mahirap uh, kalimutan kung kayo may problema nito. Paradomi. Yung paradomi kayo? Paradomi. Nang ibig sabihin to betray, it means uh, uh, to uh, deliver up and this is exactly what Judas did he delivered up the Lord to the high priest but hindi niya alam sa ginagawa niyang ito Jesus Christ was delivered by the Father according to his counsel in eternity into the hands of the wicked para sa kanyang kamatayan kayo at ako ay maligtas Acts chapter 2, he was delivered according to the determinate counsel of God. So every scripture was merely fulfilled. Not one of them failed. And then, <clears throat> so he did not fail from salvation, but from the office of being a treasurer and an apostle. Second, Judas is a picture of of every professing church member. <clears throat> Siya'y larawan ng mga nagpapanggap na Kristiyano at kaanib ng church ng Panginoon. Judas was a member. He was even a treasurer. Church membership saves no one. Church membership will not save you. May mga nagsasabi, Dapat tumanib kayo sa amin upang kayo maaligtas. The Bible states the opposite, contrary. Salvation is only in Jesus Christ and in, in Him alone. He is the only way, not the church way. Salvation is not in anything that you have done morally or in education and whatever achievements. This will not be good enough in the light of eternity. So, ang salvation is only upon repentance at itong si Judas merely remorse. Na konsyensya lang siya. Pero there was no evidence of repentance at the outset nor conversion. Nung siya itawagin ng Panginoon. Wala yun. Sa dulo, dulo, Nahuli kasi siya na siya ay magnanakaw at siya ay traidor at nailarawan at natupad ang nangyaring sinabi ng Panginoon. One of you is a devil! Kaya mga church members na hindi ligtas, Oy, it's about time. Suriin ninyo ang inyong mga sarili, baka anak kayo ng jablo. 
Pastor, grabe naman niya. Pag hindi kayo ligtas, alam nga naman, anak kayo ng Diyos, hindi kayo ligtas. Eh, si Judas ka naman, anak ng Diablo. Anak ng demonyo. Kaya mga nasa bahay nagmumurahan. Anak ng demonyo. <laughs> Nababanggit pa yun. Tatawal, bruha. Ano ang bahay na ito, impyerno? <laughs> so, nasasabi lahat yun sa kwa natin. Pero nakakalungkot isipin ito. I hope hindi kayo pala simba lamang. Kundi nagsisimba o nagsasamba kayo dito dahil sa pasalamat sa Panginoon na kayo niligtas. Pangalawa, na kayo ay naglulalhati sa Panginoon. At iginaganti nyo ang katapatan sa Panginoon ng inyong katapatan. Na kayo hindi naghihinang, ay hinayang sa inialay nyo sa Panginoon ang oras ninyo, ang salapin ninyo, and whatever it is that the Lord demands and decides that will best glorify Him, do it as unto the Lord. There will be no regret, no remorse, this side of heaven, and until we touch up the on sa langit. No regret. I did it for the Lord. Which of these three characterizes your life today? Backslider? A real true believer? Or a betrayer? Unsaved pala kayo. Being a member of the church guarantees no salvation. That's not God's way. Only believers, real born again, and those that repented of blessings, will be admitted into our church and will participate in the Lord's Supper. Every head bowed and every eyes closed. No one looking around. Wow, napakasakit ng salita at yan ay totoo sa susunod na linggo. Betrayed. Father, bless your word. With the remaining years or less that we await the coming again of Jesus Christ, may you find us faithful and true. May yung mga nakaraang, mga pagkukulang namin ay mabago at manumbalik ang bawat isa sa amin na nalayo sa inyo, Panginoon. Ihanda niyo po ang aming mga puso at kaluluwa sa inyong pagbabalik at sa aming pagsasalosalo kaharap kayo sa Santa Sena. Binibigay namin sa iyo lahat ng kapurihan. Kung meron sa ating kalagitnaan na perhaps it, it, it has been for some time that you have wandered away from the Lord, you are actually then, you are not in tune and untouched in touch with God or you are a member of a church of like faith and order at dito kayo ay pabalik-balik na sumasamba kasama ng mga kapatiran dito na walang alinlangan na kayo ay qualified na maging member ari na wako yan ay ujok ng Panginoon at yan ang, ang tamang dapat gawin gawin mo for, uh, para sa Panginoon we'll just ask our song leader to sing two stanzas and we will close. I know time is sticking fast, but we have, we have enough time, preparation, etc. until 3 o'clock. You can meet sa cluster groups, and then 5 o'clock ay simula ng ating Lord's Supper uh, night. Brother William, get a songbook, please. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. The two stanzas will close. I know time is ticking fast. Matindi, Pastor, ang mga binitawang nung pananalita. Eh, matindi kasi ang warnings na ibinibigay sa atin. Let's not follow the wrong kind of example na nakatala ang kanilang mga buhay sa banal na kasulatan. Okay, hindi yata makita. Shall we close in prayer? Before I uh, close in prayer, maybe the Lord is speaking to your heart for you to come and 
be restored into the fellowship of this, the Lord's church. What it is the Lord is impressing upon you, do it as the Spirit speaks to your heart. Pastor, please pray for me. I am willing to obey and submit my life to the Lord, whether for church membership or for salvation or whatever it is. Put a stop to living your own life your own way and not God's way. I come, I come. After this, we will close. Brother Sunny. Praise the Lord. To, to God be the glory. Anyone else? Maybe God would have you to come. Maybe there is something that you need to surrender to the Lord. Pag ipinagkatiwala niyo sa Panginoon, hindi kaya magsisisi at pagkukulang sa kasaganaan ng kanyang katapatan at mga pagpapala. Maybe you have been a lamb going astray. You do not faithfully enjoy fellowship and friendship with the Lord. She would have she had all these privileges and yet he didn't give any importance to it whatsoever. Tonight will be the highest form of worship in the life of the Lord's church. Pastor, please pray for me. Sama mo ako sa panalangin. I know time is ticking past, but what is time in comparison with eternity? Please pray for me. I want to eat and drink right with the Lord in the Lord's Supper. It's a communion between me and God. Pray for me. Uh, yes, God bless you and encourage you. Yes. God bless you. Before I close in prayer, may we all uh, look to the front. We have uh, here a brother a long uh, time ago na hindi natin siya nakasama at naka-fellowship. He is, dahil kapitan siya, madalas nasa barko siya o nasa probinsya na siya. Brother Sunny, andito na rin lang naman siya, balik sa Metro Manila. Brother Sunny, by loan, would uh, like to be in, reinstated into the membership of Calvary Baptist Church. Harapin mo sila, brother. Nung umalis siya dito, medyo hindi pa puti yung buhok niya. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we are uh, glad that uh, he is uh, willing to be restored. How many of us are willing to receive him back into the fellowship of the church? Raise your hands, please. Okay, amen. Okay. So thank you very much. Any opposition? Wala na. Uh, we welcome you back, dear brother. And we are glad that we could... Uh, Extend you once more the right hand of fellowship, okay? May the Lord bless and keep you uh, as you go home or go uh, somewhere else uh, to dine and uh, prepare and come back at 3 o'clock cluster group sessions. Huwag kayo susuway dito, ha? Bigyan nyo naman ng rest at pagkakataon na kayo ay one-on-one with the Lord. Kailangan kasi ang self-examination, eh. At hindi puro activities tayo, mas mahalaga pa yung oras ng cluster group. Meron naman 3 to 5. Ubusin na ninyo dalawang oras, ha? huwag kayo nawa, mawala ng bala. Lahat ng cluster group residents, stand up please. Nawala. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Okay, 3 o'clock ang cluster uh, group meetings until 5 o'clock na. Marami na kayo magagawa sa 2 hours. Okay. 5 o'clock, Lord's Supper na. Okay? Shall we all stand up please as we close our morning worship and may the Lord uh, prepare your hearts and that we would commune with Him over uh, this ordinance and thank you Lord for uh, uh, this Lord's Day. Father, we bless you and thank you for each one present and we thank you that you have spoken 
uh, to the heart of brother Sonny to uh, be uh, restored into the fellowship of the church and continue to use him as you did before they uh, moved to the province. And now he is back in Manila. And I do pray, O oh Lord, that uh, you would uh, uh, bless each one with safety on the road and uh, help us uh, eat and drink right in the Lord's table. After all, it's your table and not ours. And thereafter, thank you for those na sila ay merong dala at we can share its other's uh, uh, menu and uh, uh, that uh, we can enjoy uh, love, feast, and fellowship after the Lord's Supper. We bless you and thank you this Lord's Day morning. And thank you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. And the people of God said, Amen. God bless you. Have a very nice day. Do please meet Brother Sunny. Doon ka na lang sa likod, Brother. Ikaw ngayon mag-meet sa mga members. See you.